What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're looking at magma dragon and i've got a team that can speed farm it um and you're gonna be like why do i want to speed farm magma dragon it turns out there's actually a pretty good reason for it so let's hop into the forge look at what gear is up for grabs on rotation two so first up we've got affinity breaker which is just an awful gear set and um, for me, I could never find a use for it. For me, it's just an instant sell. Um, then we've got Bloodthirst, which is an upgraded version of Lifesteal. It's a pretty good gear set for early to mid game, but it definitely falls off late game. So I, I don't really use it and I just sell it now. Uh, but Guardian, Guardian set is amazing. This is definitely the best uh, gear set out of all these ones for this rotation um you know it's basically having like built-in ally protection and we also get some um self-healing as well but what's happened on my account is i've got loads of guardian gear i've got guardian gear coming out my ear holes but what i do need um and also like you know i've got so many support champions in guardian gear i just don't need any more guardian gear but what has happened on my account is you know I farm Fire Knight all the time. I've got loads of Savage gear, I've got loads of Crawl gear, but I'm starting to run out of really good pieces. And, you know, obviously it goes on my Arena Nukas and some of my PvE champions, but you run out of gear and you can only farm so much. So what happens is Fatal can actually fill, it's like a really good filler gear. So there's like two cases that you could use it for. So for PvP, you know, you're building out someone in Savage and you're missing that like 3% crit rate or whatever. And you could just use this as a nice filler piece just so you reach that crit rate. But you're also getting the attack percentage as well. So that's really nice. But then again, for PvE, I've got loads of nukers that are naked and they need they need gear. They need they need clothes. So what you do, you get fatal. Fatal can fill that slot for you. And six pieces of Fatal is great. That's 45% extra attack and an extra 15% crit rate. And that means you can focus on different subs as well. So you can get sub stats of speed, crit damage, and attack percentage as well. So it just means that you can really like build your nukes even stronger. And the other thing is, if you're running them for dungeons only, you don't need Savage really, because you're gonna bring someone in that drops defense. And if you're dropping defense, 45% extra attack is going to do more damage than Savage. So that's why I'm choosing to start farming Fatal Gear. And it is like it is a really good piece. Like I think people overlook it and look down on it. Obviously, it's not as good as Crawl, but it is still a really good set. And we definitely need to be farming it so we can stop having our naked champions running around and they can actually do some work. Because I've got at least 15 nukers that are just naked that I can never use because I'm just trying to get as good gear as I can. And yeah, this is definitely going to be able to fill that void. So this is the team that we're running. We've got Necmo, Genut, Bivald, Godseeker, and Liores. And we're doing it in 1 minute 30, so it's pretty fast. Um, you could definitely swap out most of these champions, apart from Genut because he just melts the Magma Dragon. Uh, Liores could be any champion that hits hard and does AoE damage. Godseeker is just in here for um, like revives and healing, just keeping the team up. Uh, Bivald is here for provokes for the boss and could be replaced by anyone that provokes. And Necmo, just a great turn meter champion and he's just going to keep the team really fast. But again, I think Necmo could be replaced. It's only really G-Nut that you have to have for this team comp to be so fast. To be fair, if I wasn't so lazy, I could probably speed this up even more. Like Godseek can be vowed. I could probably just bring in four, well, another two nukers and it'd probably speed it up even more. But um, let's do a run. Let's just whack on Super Raids as well. So Necmo is going to come in first and he's just going to boost our turn meter and slow the enemy. Um, Liores is going to be basically wiping the waves really fast for us. Um, Bivald's quite nice because he does bring in a bit of CC for the waves as well. Um, G-Nut does a decent amount of damage on the waves as well. 
And yeah, again, look at that. Leo Reyes, 23 seconds, and he's got us to the boss already. So there's a few things you want to watch out for when you're building for the, this boss. Um, ideally, ideally, you do want something that's provoking because it's just going to keep the boss under wraps. Um, you can't, he does do a hex, but the hex, I think if you cleanse it, it does damage your team, so you don't want to be cleansing it. So you can't bring in Doom Priest or Tahanarak. Um, and yeah, he attacks all enemies, instantly activates HP burn, debuffs on each target. Yep, so he, throw, he just does like damage and stuff to us. But the one thing we can't do is if we put HP burn on him, then what happens is he um, basically gets healed. And yeah, he basically just does continuous healing to himself. So we do not want to put um, HP burn on him because it's just going to screw up the run. Yeah, but yeah, then it's just pretty much all the standard stuff. Um, but yeah, so we've almost finished the run. But yeah. Being able to speed farm this as well. So, like for most of my end game um bosses that I farm on Doom Tower, the runs are about sort of five minutes. So, you know, five minutes times that by like seven, that's 35 minutes. Where we're doing it in like two minutes, that's 14 minutes. So we're saving a lot of time by speed farming. But yeah, as you can see, G Nut doing all the damage to the oh, like 2.3 million. Uh, Leo Rez at 800k, and then the rest not really do any damage. Somehow, G Nut has done the most healing as well. I don't know how he's managed that one. Uh, I think it's either Necmo or Bivald will throw out Leech, so that's probably where he's getting all that healing from. But yeah, really fast team. And I, again, if I wasn't so lazy, I could definitely speed this up. Um, but yeah, there's definitely so many options to, you know, you could easily put a very fast team together for this. A really good. Free to play uh, friendly champion for this is Rectograph. She is absolutely amazing for this. Like, she does loads of healing. She um, can revive as well. So, she's a great option. And that perfect fail um, decreases AoE damage. Um, there's low, There's tons of champions that can provoke, like Umbral Enchantress, um, Seeker. Even though he's the wrong affinity, he's a really good option for this as well. And if you pair up Seeker with someone that does counterattacks, then basically he's just going to be flopping back and forth. Well, yeah, Seeker's going to be flopping back and forth and just will keep the Magma Dragon under wraps. But yeah, it's definitely a dungeon that I feel a lot more people should be farming now. So let's check out the gear and masteries. So first up, we've got Leores, and he's in Lethal and Cruel, and he's built for Arena. Um, my one is, like, he's an absolute beast. He's got some pretty amazing, uh, amazing gear on him. Oh, it's a shame though, these gloves are almost god tier if we didn't get rolls in HP and crit rate, that would just be a thousand times better. Um, but yeah, really, really nice chess piece there. That is an amazing chess piece, definitely one of my best. And some amazing boots, definitely need to get them fully ascended. But yeah, some god tier boots there as well. Really nice ring, uh, a very decent... Uh, Amulet definitely need to. I need to start farming the Shogun, but I just haven't. I just no interest at the moment, to be honest. Uh, player room, they just don't give me enough energy. Um, and then that's the banner that we're rocking. So the stats that matter on him are attack, so as much attack as possible, um, 200 plus speed, 100% crit rate, and then as much crit damage as possible. So I'd say like you want to aim for like 240 and above, and then sort of. At 330 is where you sort of crit damage sort of starts to fall off and you want to focus on more crit, uh, sorry, more attack. Of course you want Sol Reap on him. Sol Reap is just amazing on Leores. And then these are Arena Masteries, sort of very standard stuff. Um, going into Helm Smasher to do more damage. And we're just trying to get Retribution and T Deterrence just to get all those counter attacks popping off and wiping people because... His A1 does hit like an absolute beast. Um, next on the list, we've got uh, Bivald. So Bivald is in a Toxic set and Divine Speed. I am thinking about swapping this Toxic set for maybe um, Curse because it's got such a good buff now. And, you know, it's just such a good set. Like putting Hex out, great for Hydra, but also great for doing more damage as well. So we've got HP on the gloves. Um, accuracy on the chest, speed on the boots. 
defense on the ring, defense on the amulet, and then accuracy on the banner. Uh, stats that matter on him are HP, defense, speed, and accuracy. Um, resistance could be nice for him as well. If you can, it's a bit of a luxury for Hydra, but those are definitely the stats you want to focus for uh, for Hydra and for this. Brimstone is amazing on him. He does um, AoE on his A3 and A2, so Brimstone is definitely it's the only way to go. Um, and then Masteries, very standard stuff, and going into War Masters, so we do more damage for Hydra and for Magma Dragon. Um, Retribution is really good and deterrence because um, we do have a proke on our A1. The only thing I do want to say though is if it depends what rotation on Hydra. So with Hydra, um, if you don't have, if you're not using Shamal because the head of fear is not popping up first, then you want to take Cycle Revenge instead. Because what happens is um, you do like counter attacks on the head of fear and then you end up getting locked out. So it's up to you, um, but I do run him like this. And it's still, it is still a very good build. So this is my Gene Up build and I'm still working on him. Um, he's not finished just yet. Um, I do want to use him in Finite Hard. I actually use him in Spider Hard as well. So he's filling two roles right there. And he's in Perception and Crit Damage. So we've got Crit Damage on the gloves, um, Accuracy on the chest, Speed on the boots, Defense on the ring, um, crit damage on the amulet and then accuracy on the banner and this is a very nice banner triple roll in speed so total stats or well the stats that actually matter are hp um defense speed and he's specifically speed tuned for spider so that's why he's really fast but it helps as well that for fire knight if he's this fast it means he's going to get more turns in so it, and, you know, the faster he is, the more turns he gets, the more he can suck around his A3 and do that hard hitting. You know, it just absolutely just drops uh, bosses. 100% uh, crit rate, as much crit damage as possible, and then 350 and above for accuracy. Um, and again, that is for, um, for Spider. No, not for Spider. That's just purely for um, Finite, because I do want to really work on that Finite hard team. Uh, Phantom Touch is really nice on him. He does a lot of damage with this. So, so far, that's what I'm liking. And yeah, it is his A3 that just absolutely just blows the enemy away. So, Masteries, um, I've gone for Giant Slayer. And it's, it is really nice. It does do a lot of damage and it works really nicely with um, Phantom Touch. Um, you definitely want to be taking Cycle of Violence as well, just so we get a chance to refresh our a3 and get round to it faster and we've got necma as well one of my favorite champions just an absolute god for uh, hydra uh, if you get him instant six star no doubts about it um so i've got him in the perception set again he's another champion that i am thinking about swapping over into um curse gear set but he's such a great champion just just speeds the whole team up slows down the enemy just so much control in uh, pve fights so gloves we've got hp accuracy on the chest speed on the boots defense on the ring defense on the amulet and then hp on the banner and the stats you want to be looking for are hp uh, defense speed as fast as possible um, so if i do change him to a curse set he's definitely going to lose a lot of speed which is a bit of a shame, but I think it will pay off. Um, it's definitely worth it for Hydra. Or even a Provoke set in, as well is a nice a nice option as well. And then we've got 410 Accuracy, which is a little bit overkill, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, doesn't need to be fully booked. Um, you know, his A2 and A3 is what you want to focus on. Uh, he does do AoE on all his abilities, so again, Brimstone is such a good option on him, and it will definitely help with those Hydra heads. Um, I've built mine specifically for Hydra, um, and again, just standard stuff in the offense tree going down to War Masters. Um, support is slightly different, and what you want to do here is take Arcane Celerity and Rapid Response. So um, basically, because he throws out loads of debuffs and he casts loads of buffs, and um, when they expire, you have a good chance of increasing your term meter by 
and that's with both of them and yeah just so broken it does just make him even faster than he already is uh you do want to take everlasting gifts oh, sorry lasting gifts um again you just keeps your speed buff on all the time and master hexer he does throw out a slow and leech so really really useful and yeah you definitely want to be taking that as well but yeah necmo such such a great champion so last but not least, we've got Godseeker in Regen in Immortal. Um, my, this one is the, the one that I use for Sand Devil, and she's definitely overkill. You do not need to go as ham as I have, um, but we've got HP on the gloves, HP on the chest. You could probably put speed on the boots instead of HP, or you could even put defense on her chest piece or something instead. Uh, we've got defense on the ring, defense on the amulet, and hp on the banner she doesn't need accuracy or resistance at all um hp doesn't need to be as high as that i'd say 50k and above should be fine defense you want to be 3k and above um speed even like all the way down to 220 should be fine for this and the rest of the stats do not matter um miracle hill is an amazing blessing on her this is great for hydra so when the Hydra heads are um, chipping away at your max HP, you can restore that destroyed max HP. So yeah, definitely amazing for that. And also very good for Sand Devil as well. Uh, these Masteries are the ones that I use for Sand Devil. They are specifically for that. Um, let's just have a look at my other um, God Seekers. So this, these are the Masteries that I would take for God Seeker for PvE content besides Sand Devil. Um, and again, just all that sort of standard stuff in the offense tree, going into War Masters and Psycho Revenge and Retribution for those counterattacks so we can get more War Master procs and get more healing off the A1. But yeah, so that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you guys start farming uh, Magma Dragon and getting that gear. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash for more content. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.